the first thing I ever posted on social media was probably like a softcore nude, to be honest. Like, who cares? Some things don't change. Hi, I'm Georgia Mack from Camp Cope, and these are my firsts for NME. The first band t-shirt I ever owned was like a Kiss band t-shirt and it was from Target <laughs> and it had little like gemstones on it and stuff and it was really cool and I got a bleach stain on it when I was like in year seven but it you know it was cool. The first tattoo I ever got was on my ankle it says so like a YOLO tattoo it says while I'm alive I'll feel alive and I got it in Irene's Warehouse, which was like a warehouse venue space in East Brunswick when I was 18. The first gig that Camp Cope ever played was in August of 2015. And it was in a warehouse in Collingwood. I don't, I can't remember the name of the warehouse, but it was cool. It was very cold what I remember. <laughs> we were like a hype band for a while, you know? Now we're old. The first artist I ever fell in love with was, it was three artists. It was the girls who did the ketchup song. <laughs> and I had it on like a CD with um, like the film clips on it. So you could watch it on the DVD player and I was just obsessed with it, like completely obsessed. Still am. The first album I ever bought was Hybrid Theory by Linkin Park. <laughs> it explains so much. <laughs> the first festival I ever went to was when I was 16. I went to Big Day Out in 2010 and I was just so obsessed with everyone playing. I had the best time, my phone broke, you know, got really sweaty. Uh, yeah, I had the best time ever. The first song I ever wrote, well, like, I have like, I wrote songs when I was like a kid um, that I still remember. And I wrote songs as Georgia Mac and I wrote songs as you know, me and then made them into Camp Cope songs. So I can't really remember the first song that I ever wrote, but definitely the um, first Camp Cope album is, is a few of, few of them, few of the first songs. I think the first song off the new Camp Cope album was The Mountain. I think I wrote that in like 2002. 19, 2019, yeah. I like that song. I like where it, where it went you know, because we had a lot of time to work on it. And even now, like when we play it, I still kind of like come up with new ideas for it. The line, the mountain will not come to me is because I heard a saleswoman once talking to a guy being like, the mountain does not come to Muhammad because he was like, oh, I want to like buy this. And she was like, well, you got to come here. I'm not walking this distance between us. And yeah, I just heard her say it and I was I thought it was so funny. I can't remember the first time I heard a Camp Cope song on the radio, but probably my mum does. Like still, like even now, every time we come on the radio, she'll like take a photo and send it to me and we'll like take a little video. It's very cute, she's very proud. The first thing I do when we come off stage at a gig is be alone. Sometimes if there's a shower, maybe I'll have a shower, but I just like to be silent and like drink a big thing of coconut water and just be alone. Cause it's like, it's very overwhelming going from like a crowd of people like looking at you. So I need to, so I need to do like the total opposite and just like go be alone in the dark, just like staring at a wall, normal. <laughs> My first like fuck I've done it moment was like the first time that we played at the opera house for Vivid. I thought that was pretty special because the opera house is such like an iconic venue. And so that felt really special and like my family was there and it was really cute, yeah. 
first time we toured overseas was we went to America, I think in like 2017, maybe. And it was a whole ordeal. Like the airline like lost our baggage. We got held up at customs because it was just, it was a, it was a time. And so we pretty much had to like get off the plane and go straight to the venue, which was a place that's no longer there anymore, but it was like this cool kind of DIY space in Brooklyn. And yeah, that was like a very cool moment. <laughs> the first thing I ever posted on social media was probably like a soft core nude, to be honest. Like, who cares? Some things don't change. Thank you for watching my first with NME. Um, listen to Camp Cope's new album.